I have to wonder if like they sat down and they're like, what is the thing that tastes so bad in this? We're saying it tastes so bad. It's we still rent it like number two. But right, but like what is holding it back? Right. What is right. the what is the weakness? What is and address in like in this part of the tongue or the flavor profile, mm -hmm. what is the opposite? It needed some zing. Whatever yeah. that zing may have been. And maybe that's a good base because maybe you could do a blueberry one next. Welcome to Price Plow. What's up, Price Plow Nation? Yeah! <laughs> it is your friendly neighborhood, worst people to be doing a vegan protein review. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. Your two favorite meteors. <laughs> Mike and Ben of Price Plow Nation, and we have the new flavor. It is December 17th of 2019. New flavor of Ghost Vegan Protein. So we did a vegan uh, protein review we did this on we did it on its own. What's the flavor first off? Well, so this is banana pancake batter. We reviewed their pancake mm. batter, and then we did our top vegan proteins. Pancake batter came in at a close second, mm -hmm. um, mostly because of the uniqueness of the flavor. We weren't sure that we could give it first place for, for well, another reason too, but because pancake batter is very unique, we don't know that everyone would enjoy that as much. The other interesting thing is that it's a vegan protein, but they're using sucralose in it. So it's right. not all natural. It's not all plant-based. Yeah. There's no sucralose tree, but it is vegan. Yeah, it, well, yeah, I guess it, it, you call it vegan, and it's also dairy-free, it's really. And that's, yeah, that's really what I think a lot of the ghost experience is going for. Right. So using sucralose, the vast majority of their consumers want something dairy-free, good for the, the yeah. digestion, if you can't handle that stuff. Uh, and if it takes sucralose to make that happen for the mass consumer, so be it. So that's what we're dealing with now. Also in that top five vegan proteins video, we had one that had honey in it, and apparently Whew. we Do got- Do not tell vegans that honey's vegan. Apparently vegans, yeah. vegans don't eat honey. I didn't Jeez. know that. All right, well, So consider my, this a public apology. Yeah, back to my six. Let's make a new one for 2020, and we'll see if this one helps out with the rankings. Yeah, so here's the interesting thing. Uh, they're doubly gun on pancake batter. Yeah. Which I, I mean, these guys make calculated decisions. So if Ghost is deciding this, they don't do things lightly. Uh, they only come out with so many SKUs per year. So it's a good base. I'm yeah, I'm excited to see how this comes out. They have another one. I think it's a peanut butter something. Right. I really want to try that one. Mm -hmm. But today we are here for the pancake, but pancake, pan, the banana pancake. We do not edit that out. I'm sure it's really a little work and work. <laughs> I, mean, I had been growing my nails so I could open these freaking labels. Just then, for this? Yeah, and then I, I started. And then you cut them? I started cutting them. Hey, I got it. All right, you got that. It's, you know, it smells more like, it smells just like the, the last one, I think. We might have to open that one up, but do you get much banana? Obviously, it's a vegan protein bar. I get, I, I, it's funny, I just smell vegan. If you've ever tasted a vegan protein, you know what I'm talking about. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't smell bad. No, it's just like very... There's pea protein in here. You can see Yeah, the, you, you know that smell. You know the color, that like that yellowy and thing. The, yeah, the, the texture and the, and the grit, texture. like the small yeah. like, particles and everything. And, and there it is. So that was, what, seven to eight ounces of water? I, they say eight to 10 ounces of water. And so I had eight plus some ice cubes. Interesting, eight to 10, whereas their normal way is five to six. Right. I got some ice cubes keeping it cold. Yeah. Do I have the, uh, I didn't see the it. vegan? I thought it's probably buried down in my, no offense goes, but you're down on the bottom. Smell that and see if that smells any different. No, oh, this is way not as good. Oh. Yeah, that's got a little something something in there. All right, anyway, I've shaken enough here. Oh, I'm smelling again. Way better. Yes. I wouldn't say it's like bananas like going crazy at me though, but it's definitely better, sweeter. Do you like super banana flavors? Yeah, but not for two pounds. So it's, yeah. a, it's a fine line of, you gotta dance like, I want that, you gotta win that Pepsi challenge. I smell the banana now. This is closer to what I'm expecting. Yeah. I don't like that like ridiculous banana flavor, like the super smooth, super banana. I like banana, like a good, moderate banana. Mm -hmm. I think that's what most of these, the natural kind of dieters here are gonna want. You go too Especially overboard. if you're buying yeah. two pounds, you're going to GSC, you're excited, you bring it home. You don't want to just take one scoop and be like charred. You need to, it, it needs to last. Yeah, one of the things, I used to go to the Natural Products Expo. Mm -hmm. uh, right. West, and, and, and you find that these people like they don't, even if it's totally vegan, they don't want the most strong flavor. They want like 
they're used to mild flavors. They want mild flavors. Right. Now you have to remember, like Ghost, like their their products are not made for the hardcore consumer, whatever that niche is. Right. Their bodybuilding supplements are not for hardcore bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. They're for people who are enthusiasts in that area. Mm -hmm. Vegans, this is going to be their mainstream consumers who are a little bit more mainstream uh, vegan right. minded, right? Like their 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 gamer mm -hmm. that's coming out is going to be their normal people who play a little bit more video games. They're, they're never jumping into that hardcore. Right. That's why this this still has sucralose in it, and it will probably have a little bit more flavor than your run of the mill. Good explanation. Let's give it a go. And I smell both flavors. I smell both the pancake batter and I smell the banana. Just enough banana for me. Yeah. Wow. That is way better. That is really good. Yeah. That's way better. This is, okay, I see why they went this When I saw ba Pancake Batter again, I was like, this is redemption. They're coming for redemption on this one. So yeah, uh, just enough pa a banana added to it. It's not a little, but it's not over the top. It's it's more than you were kind of explaining it. I think it's, I think it's pretty strong, but it's not uh, overbearingly strong. I think it's, it's like a moderate dose of banana. I have to wonder if like they sat down and they're like, what is the thing that tastes so bad in this? Right? And they identified it's like you say it tastes so bad, it's we still rent it like number two. But right, but like what is holding it back? Right. What is right. the what is the weakness? What is and address in like in this part of the tongue or the flavor profile, mm -hmm. what is the opposite? It needed some zing. Whatever yeah. that zing may have been. And maybe that's a good base because maybe you could do a blueberry one next. Maybe. Yeah. Blueberries are tough. I don't know how the vegan will work with that, but you needed, it's a base, but you needed something more. I'm just thinking they identify what mm -hmm. is what is holding it back and what is the, the counterpart to that. How can we add something to get rid of that? And you should ask their flavorist. Bananas. That's like I'll kind of what they want. Yeah. 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 No I, matter what though, you saw, I just already poured more. I'm, I'm that's highly, how you know he likes it. I'm, highly, I'm highly intrigued by this flavor. It's, it's a well-balanced blend. You get both flavors. And I get them together. There's not like yeah. a wave of one or the other. For and me, it's... In terms of vegan texture too, you normally get that coating of the walls of your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's there, but it's not nearly anywhere near as where I would expect the vegan protein to be. Well, they've, yeah. Yeah, they've definitely gotten better at that. They've not, they haven't, I'm not gonna tell you this tastes like a whey protein. Uh, They're but, getting closer, but obviously the sucralose is gonna help with some of that. It's not a milkshake, but they're getting well, closer. Yeah. This thing is, it's it's thickening. It's they're they're getting closer. If if I had like a, a a smoothie protein bar and every day I tried something. If if I had like a, a a smoothie protein bar and every day I tried something, I'd say like at least one day out of the week I'd be like you know what throw me the banana pancake batter mm -hmm. and I'm not even a vegan so yeah, I dude. like it. Yeah, they did a they did a good job. I think this is like you said redemption. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good base. I think Ghost can maybe do pop out a couple other flavors before doing whatever else they got to do in the vegan series like chocolate. I don't know. We don't need a chocolate vegan. I think this is like actually a cool cool direction to go in. This was redemption. Well Achieved. Done. Nice job. So these products, I got. I mean, I gotta hit my disclaimers early on the video. These products were sent for free. We do have an affiliate business relationship with Ghost Lifestyle, so take that into note. But yeah, obviously we like these a lot more. Uh, this one a lot more than the last one. And uh, anyway, the affiliate coupon code is Pricelow. If you use that, we do get a commission, and you save twenty percent. So uh, check out Pricelow.com/ghost where you can sign up for the uh, the alerts and get notified when we have new stuff coming out. But if you follow them on Instagram, most likely you're gonna. See it there first. You'll so. see it. Yeah, they're good with their posts. You know mm -hmm. what I'm realizing is, like, I would, like if, if you handed this to me and you didn't tell me what it was, I wouldn't be all up on the pancake. It's it's very banana. I like it a lot. Yeah, the banana. So as we're just sitting here talking, the banana is what's stuck with me. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. You no. can buy a banana product if you want that to happen. Well, like I said in the last video, banana, like pancake batter is not something that I look at and I'm like, I want to eat that. Mm -hmm. like it's like, no, I want that to be cooked into a banana before, mm -hmm. before a pancake, before I eat it. So yeah, the power, nice. yeah, yeah. The powder yeah. smells like pea protein. Then the liquid smells like banana pancake. And then the actual drink tastes like the banana pancake. And the aftertaste is banana. Yeah. So that's like, that's where I have. So don't judge it by the smell of the powder. Judge it by the taste and the aftertaste. And I'm sitting here pleasantly surprised.
Going into our next vegan protein, I think it's going to be much more us deciding whether or not sucralose can be number one. I yeah. think, like, ethically, that's going to be the choice. And because that's going to be your comment below. Is sucralose allowed in the vegan number one ranking spot? Not, you know, we're talking about plant-based versus vegan. Two different things. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Let us know below. Thanks, guys, for watching. Welcome to Price Plow.